Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to more Gundam Breaker. I'm still sick, and after the last video is the first thing I've recorded of this game in about a month. So I'm kind of backwards, but this was a the more stranger request that I should have done a long time ago, but I did it. But I finally done it. This one isn't as old as the other one, though. The second request I got totally could have... This one might fill that one. I'm not actually sure. But yeah, you can kind of see it already because it's way too damn big. Couldn't make it any smaller. But this is a special one-trick pony that I decided to build for reasons. And mainly because I was told to. But I added in some of my own stuff because... Yeah. The goal was to maximize as many bits as possible. Which I kind of did. Though, apparently it's not as good as it could be. But yeah, I gave it the Exia Sword, because why not? You know, I had that from a long time ago. Couldn't hurt. But may first thing first was the Zeong Head. Apparently you can't detach it and make it like float around and shoot at people like a bit. I thought you could. I talked about this a little bit last video, but I thought you could, but you can't apparently. Which kind of sucks. It also kind of glitches into that the joint on the left, or the right. Technically, it's on the left from this picture. Which sucks, but who cares. The body, I just chose the Versago because why not? And yes, that middle thing isn't there originally. I'll get to that in a little bit. Kishatria arms because that was part of the request. Uh, Trudium legs because these things come with their own bits apparently. Also part of the request. I didn't know that, but wow, those feet look like they would like break. Like there's no back support whatsoever. It would just sink on its heels. Yeah. Those come with their own bits, so that's two sets of bits so far. Legend, backpack, third set of bits. Uh, it was either Providence or Legend, I don't remember which, but I just chose the Legend, because why not? I don't think I have a Providence backpack, to be honest. I think Legend's the better one, right? Um, I tried to find the least profile shield I could, and it was either this or the cloak, so I went with this. Oh, and for the record, Heavy Arms doesn't actually have a... What's that thing called? I also equipped it the wrong one, apparently. I'll repaint that in a second. But Heavy Arms apparently doesn't have a kit in this game. That's just lazy, I guess. Heavy Arms in Epion. No clue why. You can get them, like, really early. You just can't get the kit. Like, it doesn't exist. I have every single kit unlocked, and this is not one of them. Well, the DLC has come out, so I technically don't have two kits unlocked, but I'm not paying them real money when they're probably going to release it for free in about two months. Plus, if it was more suits, I might have paid for it, but it's a customized Rick Diaz and customized Yakushiki. There's no difference from what I've seen about them, so... Oh yeah, my stats could be a little bit better. Totally not going to pay for that shit. So, GN generator, that's what's on the chest, why it looks so weird. So you can get Trans Am, because I don't think the legs gave you the ability for Trans Am. I believe that's the body, but since they wanted this, I didn't figure a point in giving the body... Uh, where are those? Arm funnels. Yeah, the Jagadoga arm funnels. This is both arms, so it fills up two slots. That's why there's some of the empty slots down here. Then, more funnels on the backpack, I think? Yeah. If you could see them, they're on the right a little bit. It's very glary since my light's right next to it. Well, for me, anyway. You guys won't see it, because digital, but... Yeah, so there's another set of bits there. I didn't color those for some reason. No clue why. And then more shield bits at the bottom. Uh, these don't actually work with the legs, so they're considered a fifth slot. I thought they would work in conjunction with the legs. They don't. But yeah, we have this because I was too lazy to reset it. Same thing with this, too lazy to reset it. Goddamn moth. Uh, moth just landed on me. I apparently don't have a lot of these either, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I have quite a few I don't have. Even though I have all the kits unlocked. Maybe it's only Master Grade stuff. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I'm going to change that real quick to Trans Am. Because I don't know why I didn't equip that before. Oh. Hey, Spectra Shot. This is a part of the Verzago body. We apparently just shoot giant laser beams out of our chest. Should be cool. And yeah, I'm not missing anything else. Yeah. Yeah. We have the Mega Particle Head, Cannon out of the Zeong Head, Bits, Bits, GN Field, Bits, Bits, Bits. And, yeah, we're gonna walk, because why wouldn't this thing walk? So, this thing is all about the bits. Like, they should murder anything we point bits at. 
So you know what we're going to go fight? We're going to go fight the most annoying boss in this game. Almost as annoying as the last boss, but the last boss gives you a chance. We're not going to do that. I just did that. And with what we have now, we'll get our ass kicked. We're going to do this. Yes, it's the one you think. The boss that's more annoying than the final boss. We also get our allies who... Oh, Misa went back and... Misa went back to her old suit. Huh. He stayed the same SD, but Misa went back. That's kind of strange. Yeah, we're going to use bits against this one and only ultimately murder them. <laughs> I forgot to repaint the shield. My bad. Oh, well. And the shield's always mounted on the back. Just because it didn't really fit on the arm very well. Shut up, Mr. Gumpla. Nobody likes you. Including your fans. Nobody likes you. Where are the shield bits? Can I tell them to go attack? I can. They don't attack by default. I don't know why, but they don't. I'm waiting till my bits recharge before I do anything. They're about halfway there. Apparently I didn't use all the funnels either, so I didn't even do the max amount of damage, which... It took, what, two minutes to completely destroy them with bits? Though that is a little bit unfair, because these arms are, what, level 20? So, the bits are technically level 20. God damn it, Misa, if this thing kills you and I didn't even shoot at it. Oh, and Trans Am's not even charged yet. Damn, I was gonna go Trans Am. Oh, hey, they're back. God, this thing. Okay, so I shot it three times and I used my boost, or I used sword tempest. And then I just stood there for the rest of it. Okay, I don't want to listen to Misa anymore, so we're gonna. Or apparently, we can't skip because I forgot how to do it. Oh, okay, never mind. So yeah, that was Bit Explosion. I don't think I said the name before, but thanks, freaking Bit Explosion. I exactly didn't name it that too. Oh hey, useless shit. An owl? Oh, so your level determines if you can get costumes. I didn't know that. I thought it was, like, story-driven. Oh. Alrighty, then. Anyway, folks, that was Bitsplosion. Like if you like it. If you guys want me to fight something else with it, I'll do it, but... God, that was... 
It's ridiculous. How long was this video anyway? Yeah, it's 10 minutes, and I'm pretty sure I spent like 6 minutes of that talking. So I basically beat the Absolus with bits in 3 minutes. Now the question is how quickly can I do that with Shabba Bee? Because Shabba Bee's about the same thing, except for a lot stronger. But anyway, folks, if you liked, you should like. We'll be back with two more episodes. My nose is getting really stuffy, too, so those ones should be insufferable. But anyway, folks, good night.